everyone, it's me, Yara Sofia from Rupert Drag Race Season 3 and also Season 1 and also Season 6. And today I'm gonna be recreating my entrance look. So get ready because I'm gonna go from this to this. I want like magic and, and fairy dust and everything like. Let's get started, okay? I'm gonna take this off. I already taped my head, so my eyebrows are almost to heaven. So now, I'm just gonna put my lenses. So I'm gonna be from Latina to a really 100% Caucasian blue eyes. Oh my God, I can't take it. <laughs> oh, there you go. Can I take this off? This lighting is frying me. When I'm done, I'm gonna be like a French fries. So now we're gonna do the foundation. This is my color foundation to cover all the imperfections. As you can see, I don't have eyebrows. I shape them because if I have to cover my eyebrows, I would hate it. I'm gonna be like detox because I remember that makeup tutorial of detox when she's like putting makeup, she's like, oh my God, you see what I did there? Oh my God, I love it, oh my God. Ah, it's still in my mind, I cannot take it out of my mind. Oh my God, you see what I did there? Oh my God. <laughs> you have to have fun, you know? This is a lot of work. I always do this because I remember um, Tammy Brown saying that you, you cannot have two colors in your neck. I go all the way down because then Tammy Brown is gonna ring me. Okay, and now I'm just gonna do a lighter foundation. This is the Caucasian color. And I'm just gonna do the highlight in the eyebrow. Almost to the half. And I just lighted this area and the forehead and areas that you wanna highlight. I could go fast, you know? I could go fast. I could let you have it. I could go fast. I think when I get older, my, my hands is gonna be like this. Not because of, you know, satisfying myself sexually. It's just like the foundation. You know how many times I have to do this, you know? How many taps? Look, tap, 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 tap. When I get old and get arthritis, I'll be like, Okay, so I do the chin and then the forehead. And then now I do a darker color. I just do the contour. I always change my contour. Sometimes I look like, like a clown, almost Trixie Mattel in the cheekbones. And sometimes I look like Carmen Carrera. The second one is, is fake. It, I mean, it's not true. I don't look like her, I wish. Ha! So what I do is, I put it here and I learn from a makeup artist that there's a bone here and you're supposed to end the contour at the end of that bone. I think that's true. I mean, I keep doing it. So I do the jaw because I'm a dude. So I have to cut that right here. Oh my God, I love it. I look like a clown. And then, because I'm gonna do a special eyebrows today, I'm not gonna paint my eyebrows, but normally I use a pencil and I do the eyebrows with the foundation. So what I do is I just put this dark because the eyebrow is gonna be inside there, right? And I just do this so I know where to put the stuff, you know? So I locate where the eyebrows is gonna be. But the foundation is better because if you mess it up, you can fix it. We take that Tyra Banks forehead and we are gonna block it. And now we're just gonna blend in everything. Oh wait. And now we're gonna blend in, okay? Many people use um, the sponge that blends the beauty. 
Yeah, because I cannot say the brand, you know what I'm saying? But I like this pon these punches because they're like new. And I always, every time that I do my makeup, I get new ones because the sponge that blends the beauty, so many queens use, the, use it and it, it's like sweaty and you're supposed to clean it like every day and not, not too many people do it. So if I don't have the time to do it, I just use this shit that it works, you know? It works the same. You have to close it here because the woman's the woman's face is like circle. So we are men and we have the square faces. So for that reason, you gotta do like a little circle. You can do the whole face with foundation. I normally do the eyebrows, but I'm not gonna do the eyebrows today because I have an extra a special eyebrows. But you can do the whole entire face with just foundation and it's better. I remember I used to do like the whole face like the, the same color. I didn't do this like until like eight years or something. But back when I started doing drag, it was like the whole face and then you do the contour and everything with the powder and blush, but this is cheaper. The eyebrow pencil are expensive. I mean, the whole makeup thing is expensive. So with this, you have to use less blush and less, you know, eyebrow paint or whatever you use. So this cheekbone right here saved me a lot of blush, you know? So now we're gonna bake. I use this translucent that smells like old lady that's the best one and i just do the whole face translucent doesn't have color so it doesn't erase my contour you know and that's it and now you just dust it Okay, and now we just put cashew powder with the same powder so the shadow cannot mess up this area. And now we're just gonna go and jump in into the shadows and the eyes. So I put shadow here in my nose. I don't know why, but I like it. So I'm gonna contour my nose. So you, if you wanna get a like Magnolia Crawford, you have to go in. But if you just, you just wanna like Nicole Kidman, you just do it like this. So this part right here is supposed to be when you see a face that the nose is like really like like this so i keep i don't know how to call this area the eye i don't know it's called the cre oh the crease in spanish we said it la cuenca la cuenca i mean i know i have tape but my eyebrows are really high. I love it. Thanks, mom. It's a simple makeup, but it's cute, you know, for the gig on a Saturday night. But make sure you get there at 2 a.m. because everybody's drunk and you're gonna be pretty. So right now, I'm just gonna do a crease darker. And every time my ex used to tell me that I used to hold my breath a lot, and it's true. 
when I do my liner, I, I take, sometimes I forget to breathe. I mean, I could die, but I haven't died yet. So we're good. And then we take not your credit card. I don't have one. Oh my God, a CD. Use it for the, <laughs> I remember I have to buy always empty CDs to every show and record and write the, the, the song. Oh my God, so long ago. So I just do like a seven. That's why you said in Puerto Rico. We said it like a seven because it looked like a seven upside down. You connected with the Chris. I don't know why people say that I have an accent. I'm from Mississippi. <laughs> That's Charo, you know? She always say that. I met her once and she is the same. She looked like the same, like on TV, like 10 years, I mean, 15 years, she looked the same. Now we're gonna do another color. It's this color. It's kind of like, like a rose. I always put it here, don't ask me why. I like it. So, when, you're, when I'm finished this, I just go with the lighter color, the same color I did for my nose, because I like it. Oh my God, what I did there. Oh my God, oh my God, I can take it. <laughs> and I just highlight this area right here. I'm back for season six and we all have changed. I remember back, I mean, when we did season three, we didn't have Instagram. We, we were starting to do Twitter. So now it's different because now everybody learned from YouTube and, and start doing drag. I mean, which is good. I mean, I wish I could have that when I was wanted to do drag. Back in the day, you used to have, you had to have a drag mother because there was no YouTube. Time changes everything, and the makeup changes, and they have new makeup that paints good, you know, because back in the day they were racist, you know? So that's it, that's your crease. And then I'm just gonna do the eyeshadow, which is like a liner. What happened? My kitchen light went off. Never mind. sorry. <laughs> And then if you mess it up, you have to keep going up and then you're going up and up and up. But don't go that up because I have done it before. <laughs> the worst is like the liner. You say, oh, let me do a little wind here. And then you keep putting it thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker. And then you have to match the other one. It happens. So that's it. And then you wait until it dries and you do the liner. So this is what I do sometimes. I cut this little like paper and I just, I just do like whatever, whatever I want. This is gonna be the eyebrows, see? How you can do a stencil of your eyebrows? Because like me, I have to shave them. So what I do is I put tape like this, like when I'm as a boy and then I put tape and then I draw them there and then I take the tape off and then I cut them like this. And then I using it like a stencil, you know? So many people use pity gum. I mean, this is paper. So I use hair bun, white, because the white one dries clear. And then you just put it there. I don't like this pity gum. It's like gum, <laughs> like chewing gum. I hate it, it's too sticky. And now you have an eyebrow, fashionable. So it's kind of like a weird eyebrow, but I love it. I do like triangles and shit, and then I put like, it's, it's fancy, you know? And it's cheap because it's paper, hello? So that's my eyebrows. And then I just put a little highlight under the eyebrows so it goes more higher. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going for the liner. I'm so stupid. Oh my God, it's gonna be as good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. 
I always hold my breath. Oh my god. And then the other eye. Try to match the eyeliner is the worst. Oh, I'm always screaming. When I take a shower, sometimes I just start screaming because I dropped the soap and I used to have roommates in LA and they thought somebody was beating me up when I was taking a shower. I'm just like this, you know? You think I'm crazy? My mom is worse. <laughs> My mom is, is just like a clown. Well, she was a professional clown, for real. She used to have a gig as a clown. That's why I think I'm interested in doing drag. I don't know. It's in my veins, it's in my blood. Do you know how I learned how to do this liner? I just start praying. In the nombre, in the nombre papa, in the nombre papa, in the nombre papa, in the nombre papa. Just like that. And then you fill it in. And you have the liner of Amy Winehouse. <laughs> well, I did the liner from far and I never done it like that. So I guess it's fine. So I uh, wanted to say about Kenny Devonport. Kenny Devonport was working with me and she always used like the mirror, but it's not like this one that is like really bright, right? Oh, that's what it was! Wait, remember the light that went off? It was the meter. I mean, look at the difference! <laughs> Whatever, okay. And then you put mascara on. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we do the lips. So what I do with the pencil is this. Sometimes when it's too hot, because I live in Vegas, the pencils, they melt. So I put it like in the fridge before sometimes when it's hot. So it gets like, it doesn't get creamy. But the one that I use under the eye that I have to like blend with shadow that I'm gonna show you in a second. I like it melted kind of. So it's like a, like you can do like a smush. I don't know if that's the right word but you know what I mean. But for the lips, or when I do the eyebrows, sometimes I put it like in the fridge so it gets cold. Right now, it looks like I have a mustache. <laughs> And then I do this, I don't know, I saw it in a video and I like it. It doesn't do because I'm gonna paint them like dark, but I like to do this like as little lines. <laughs> it's so stupid, but I do it. And then we do the lipstick, ladies and gentlemen. Be careful with the makeup you buy on, in downtown LA because it's nasty. So now we're gonna do the bottom of the eye that I always like to do it like black, black, black. I don't know why. This is the pencil that I told you that I like it hot because I like it creamy. I don't have a lighter. So we're gonna put it in the light a little bit. Okay, and now we go with, uh, with shadow, black shadow. I always like my, my eyes like dark, like under. I mean, I've, sometimes I have done like no, nothing there and it's like a color, but that's when I do check here or something like that, which is like fish. So we're done with the eyes and now we're gonna do the eyelashes. I use the same glue for the hair because it's better. People use eyelash glue. I mean, I think it's kind of the same, but it, this one works better for me. I don't know if it's toxic for eyes, so don't try at home, guys. 
<laughs> I'm so stupid. And then I do blow it like this, so it dries. But if you have bad breath, don't do it because then the, the eyelash is gonna be like wonking. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so stupid. And then, just do it again. Boy! And then we do the other one. Try your breath first. And then, so this is what I do when I glue my eyelashes. Because I whip my hair back and forward so much, I always glue my eyelash to the glue in the corner. You're not supposed, I mean, you should not do that, but I do, I like it. It just stays secure. And then I just glue it like this. It just left the corner right there. You hold it there and then you look down and it stays like a little bit higher. And that's it. We're done with the eyelashes and now we're gonna do the cheekbones. And the cheekbones goes with this brush like this. Remember the foundation on the cheekbones? So now, since I have the, the contour there with the foundation, you don't have to use a lot of blush because you already put it there. So you just have to do like this and that is already there. Oh my God, it's like a discovering America. See, you just do that contour and then you just go to the forehead. Alright, so beautiful. I got it. I got it. So beautiful. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we do the blush with a little bit of color. It's like a peck. And then you wipe and sweep that under your eyes because we're gonna do a little design. Like I told you. We're gonna come back with the papers. I just did triangles. We do with the hair glue white. This. Boom. And it shines. It's just thickening, right? Back in the day, we didn't have what we have now. That you, you know, there's so many brands that have like even the eyeliner in paper or like a stamp. And I'm like, oh my God, this queen has everything in their hands. But back in the day, we used to, this is what I used to do. That's it. And then we're gonna put some lip gloss. So I'm done with my makeup. I hope you like it. Because I like, oh my god, I look so pretty, I cannot even look at myself in the mirror. Oh my god. So we're gonna do some hair and some jewelry and custom. So I'll be back. Bye. -bye. So this is it. This is my makeup tutorial for my entrance look. And right now I'm just gonna exit. But thanks for watching. Bye bye. Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel and you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.